Hello Preppers, this is Jordi Prepper. And what we're talking about here today is the continuation of my bugging series of videos. We're talking about air quality still and we're talking about candles. I would say if you're a prepper or even if you're not a prepper, I would say just about every single household everywhere or the majority of them will have at least one candle and I'm just going to be going through some of the things to consider when purchasing a candle and I'm going to be telling you about the detrimental things that are in most candles that shops will sell and the problem with most candles is that they have petroleum based products in them and this normally takes the form of paraffin I'm going to try and show you that on this candle here just by lighting it. Now at the top of the flame of the lighter you should notice some black type of soot and you may even see like a, a black type of smoke coming off it, um, hopefully you do. Yeah there's some black type of smoke there and hopefully you can see like the, the wax that has melted there'll be like some black residue, yeah there was some just dripping down there that's because most standard candles have petroleum based products in them including paraffin and paraffin when it goes into the atmosphere um, it contains carcinogenic chemicals which are extremely bad for you now most standard candles that you buy in the shops will, will have paraffin in them uh, tea lights for instance these these will have paraffin in them most scented candles will also have paraffin in them but they also because they are producing a scent it's not the natural scent in there unless you're prepared to spend a lot of money on naturally you know prepared and candles that have natural ingredients in them unless you're prepared to spend you know a lot more money for your candles and they're guaranteed to have these natural ingredients in them the scented candles are very 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 bad for you and they have many harmful ingredients in them I do have some scented candles myself though I purchased these and these got good reviews they are scented but the reason I got them was because they're citronella and obviously this is good for keeping bugs away so I would take a few of these in the summertime with me uh, if I was camping and I would just light them around the camp just to help keep bugs away I know there's also some natural methods that you can use when you're in the field one of the problems though with candles also is that they need another source of flame to light them and this could either be like a lighter or it could be using matches and also the other thing to consider with candles is that they are in fact when lit a f potential fire hazard so it's best to get some sort of uh, holder for the candle just to keep them in place better and you could also use it to help carry the candle around the property that you're in in a bug-in situation or if the grid's just down so I don't use these types of candles anymore what I tend to use are uh, beeswax candles and um, beeswax candles have a lot of advantages over normal standard candles they don't have any sort of petroleum based products in them they don't have paraffin in them uh, once lit they burn brighter and for a longer period of time than a candle of a similar size this is just a tapered uh, thin candle the other types of the main type of beeswax candle that I use are these. These are more of a church uh, pillar type candle, and these are just pure beeswax. The advantages with the advantages of burning a beeswax candle are that they they burn brighter and longer, as I think I've just said. But they also cleanse the air they actually help to remove pollutants from it uh, rather than add to it which is what a petroleum based candle does and they also help to ionize the air and this can help with dust and it can help 
just drag that dust out of the atmosphere and drag it down to like floor level where you could easily uh, hoover it up. So beeswax candles tend to purify the air and petroleum based candles tend to pollute it and will create a very unhealthy atmosphere in your bugging location. Obviously during times of bugging and when stuff hits the fan as I've discussed in a previous video, you know, the quality of the air outside may not be as clean as what it is now. And you don't want to compound that by burning unhealthy candles, which are actually going to be detrimental to your health. You want to be burning something. If you if you are if you do have to burn something, then it should be something which cleans the atmosphere, um, which is what beeswax candles do. So just a few things there to consider. I hope I hope you take these on board and I hope that you look at, look into the candles that you're purchasing and the effects that they can have on your health. Um, you know, there's absolutely no reason for standard candles to have petroleum in them. I don't believe that that's how they were made traditionally, but if I'm wrong, please correct me. You know, this candle here is from Candle Cavern. I'm not endorsing this particular candle you know, in any way, I'm not saying, you know, go and buy them from this company. This isn't a sponsorship. I'm just showing you what I use. And since using beeswax candles, I found that the my general health uh, has improved. And the, the atmosphere is a lot more pleasant uh, where I'm at. Thank you very much for watching, subscribing. And if you like this video or you want to see, you know, this sort of thing in more detail in the future, then just let me know. Um, this is your channel as much as it is mine. I'm just showing you what I use and what's going to help me in a bugging situation. So be safe and be prepared. This is Jordi Prepper signing off.